this is saurav and i am your training trainer for performance testing and i am on behalf of uplets so coming to our previous class we had a very good discussion about about stress test and what is stress test how can we demonstrate stress test what what will be your approach for stress test and we even saw a production example and many more like even uh, we also covered uh, our soak test they are like how can you perform soak test and what is soak test these all things like we had uh, covered so that you might have got a very good idea about this type types of nft testing so hoping so you have uh, you are following my class and if you are still like uh, face any kind of difficulties then definitely you can go and watch my previous session so so you'll have a better picture uh, about the types of performance testing uh, so without wasting much time let's get started okay so for our today's agenda we will be covering the remaining uh, types of performance test which which hope so today i'll cover for spike test volume test let's see how if the class permits i i can complete it but if not we have to go for a, a one more class so let's okay so what is spike test spike test is also a non functional test where we identify a sudden rise in spike sudden rise in spike i just show you an example how can you say sir uh, i just want to see what about spike and what about stress and all like let's let's see this is a graph So let's see like uh, you can see uh, you can identify the spikes on this graph let's see this is one spike this is one spike this is a smaller spike and this is one more spike so you could identify this is the type of pattern we are following some random pattern uh it the spike is coming up so we have to analyze in the production suppose in the production or in the live environment uh suppose for a particular time you observe there is a rise in high spike high spike like this this is but you have to identify and tune that in your application so that your application doesn't of uh, faces any kind of high, high spike in the live environment because if if any sudden users there is there is if there is any rise in the sudden user then definitely there will be a spike and we have to simulate that in our test environment like nft environment uh, replicate this all and uh, event and uh, gather all the details for spike 
and perform our activity so let's just see so what is spike test so basically first of all your first definition is spike test is also a non functional test type a type of non functional test and then uh, you can say when we have to there is a sudden spike in user load we have to verify the application performance under load there is no performance bottleneck observed i should not we should not observe So, uh, by this you can say like spike test is also a type of non functional test and normally uh, we all, we do this type of behavior in a sudden rise of spike suppose let's give an example um, i'll tell you that if there is a flash shell or any kind of big billion sale or uh, black black friday sale so what happens during that time most of the application they um uh, normally if the users uh, on the uh, normal days the, the user count or the active user will be like around 100 or thousands then at that point of time for a flash sale or a or a big billion day or a end of sale or any kind of any sale uh, the application might uh, face some kind of high user load because everybody wants to get the product in a very less price and definitely due to that our application may uh, may expect a high user load in a sudden rise in spike and uh, sudden rise in spike of user so definitely that is the case so we should we we have to follow this this type of a pattern uh, and this is a very A rare type of testing we normally don't perform this kind of testing in our performance world but definitely uh, like this uh, this is always a use whenever we find any kind of uh, uh, bottlenecks or any kind of trend in the live environment and we have to replicate that same and collect the historical data according to the production environment and we have to prepare a nfr for that and we have to follow the nfr and complete the process so and make sure like every performance test we should not have any kind of application uh, like bottleneck performance bottleneck and we have to verify even the performance uh, our performance uh, e performance ap application resources the server the, all the resources are uh, under uh, are not going in a high load are not rising high so definitely this all are this all scenarios this is for so let's check like uh, and uh, normally like what are the spike test type of spike test normally types of spike test 
it can be constant spike it can be random spike it can be step up spike so we'll even try to see all those example in a load runner scenario uh, controller as well so definitely i'll i'll try to make you understand what is constant spike what is a random spike and what is step up spike let's see open an example excel Suppose number of is hours. Let's consider our hour of active user. So let's just see. from 24 okay let's just see like uh, active user count let's just say give us some 30 30 30 constant spike fifty. I want to follow this pattern. okay definitely we can see this is a constant spike so uh, what is the pattern you are following let's see like uh, we have got from in a day there is 24 hours and we could observe that for every four hours there is a spike in users like 50 uh, normally the user count is 30 but for every four hours we get rise in 20 num 20, uh, 20, num uh, 20 number of maybe, maybe because at that time the people are uh, are free or some kind of thing so the application is expecting in a very constant manner the spike is there so let's just see let's see random spike
example let's see like i have given some arbitrary counts on this thing let's make a graph so that you can understand what is random spikes So let's just see. Random spike. Okay, so you uh, in a day there is twenty four hours. So this is the hour elapsed time you can say and this is the number of users count so for the first hour what is the normally there is 30 30 users so for the second hour there is 30 users so definitely there is a rise in spike so we have to identify the high rise in spike so definitely we can see this uh, on the 22nd hour there is 300 spikes 300 number of users so according to the norm, if we observe and analyze the whole graph, we could see this uh, 22, uh, 23, uh, 22 hour, there is 300 number of users coming up. So we have to analyze this kind of issue and come to a point and test and replicate the same thing in the our test environment and find out why this kind of pattern is coming up or whether our application is scalable or able to support this kind of uh, spike or not or then if this is coming abruptly or some kind of code or some kind of thing then we have to find out the uh, uh, we have to find out the bottleneck and tune the uh, tune our application accordingly else uh, because we might not expect this kind of behavior in our production and if uh, our production architecture is not able to scale or some kind of thing then we have to also tune all the things so definitely we have to uh, at that particular time we have to perform this kind of test as well so let's see one one more type of test that is step up test let's see we have come to a point and we want to see this kind of
so definitely by seeing this picture so definitely you got some picture like uh, whenever you are observing some kind of pattern right uh, steps first step second step third step four step five step six step seven step eight step and nine so it is following some kind of step of pattern so definitely this kind of also behavior we have to observe uh, in the production if this uh, i am just i have demonstrated with a few number of users let's see there is a huge amount of users coming in you have to analyze this kind of step of pattern and you have to uh, you have to replicate this thing in your test environment and check uh, or ensure like uh, we must not uh, face or have any kind of performance bottleneck and uh, follow this kind of uh, nfrs in our uh, we have a NF, uh, nfr we have this kind of we, we must follow this kind of nfr and perform the same similar kind of test in our Test environment, which is NFT environment. So I hope so. Like you might have got the different idea about the patterns, uh, spike pattern, random constant spike, and all. So now, like let's see, like how you can cal calculate your spike load. Uh, well definitely let's see the calculation part for a new as well as old application okay as i ha i have already confirmed you like uh, for this the business analyst have to uh, provide the historical data and uh, we have to check that data and analyze the pattern like sudden rise of spike pattern which is uh, for an old application we might definitely we might be having um, the historical data and the, according to that data we have to analyze the spike pattern for the production environment and we have to come to a point and what particular hour our there is a rise of in spike and that thing so for example like uh, i have already spoke about this thing like if there is a uh, black friday sale definitely yeah, the the product has a huge discount like 70 to 80 percent uh, the price or no, normal to mrp price the market price the there is a huge discounted price suppose you have a product called uh, you get a product in thousand rupees then on that particular day if you get 70 percent uh, uh, off then definitely you get the product in 300 so definitely there is a boom and 